when it comes to our parents, no matter who they are, we have to treat them with of the greatest kavod. And that is a mitzvah in the Torah. It does not mean that if they say to do an avira, that we have to listen, God forbid, on the contrary. It does not mean that if they say to marry someone that's not befitting to you, that's not what we're talking about. It doesn't mean that if your parents say, I don't want you to learn Torah, that you're not allowed hasfi shalom, that's not what we're talking about. But the respect that we have to have for our parents, Kodesh Kodashim, the Chazonish, of the greatest Aharonim that we've had in the past 70, 80 years, he says that anything he was zochetu, he says what he was zochetu, he says, he says he was zochetu it because of the mitzvah of kivud avaim. Imagine you ask the Chazonish, what would you credit your zechut to be a gadol? Which mitzvah is it that you did? He said, because of kivud av va'im. The Chazunish would go every day and visit his mother, who is in Almana, a widow, and sit with her every day for half an hour. We cannot even understand the Chazunish's greatness in Torah and his chashivut of every moment, not to mevatel Torah. And he took half an hour a day to go talk to his mother. And she wasn't talking to him necessarily about Torah. She's a lady. How's your day? How's it going? The chit chat back and forth. And he's there and he's talking to his mother. How's everything, mom? Unbelievable. Weather's well, beautiful today. Cloudy, a little cloudy. Whatever he was saying, trust me, he probably could not care less. And he sat there talking to his mother, giving her the respect, giving her the time of day, making her feel like a queen. That is the mitzvah of kibbutz avaim. And you think you're going to lose out in life? You think uh, half hour a day? That's a long time out of life. The Torah says that Ramban guarantees a person arichut yamim. Long life. You think you're losing when you go respect your mother and father? No, no I got to go. It's going to take me hours. Forget it. I don't have time. You don't have time? The Torah says, you're going to get time. You will have time. Don't worry about your time. How would we treat a king, Moraiv Rabotai? The way we would treat a king. The, tr- the way we would treat a Gadol Hador. That's the way. We have to treat our parents. You can give them a cup of water. Hey, go, mom. Let's go. Take, take, mom, you want water? <laughs> or you can give her a cup of water. Mom, this is for you. And you just stay standing there until she realizes there's a cup. And then she can take it whenever she wants. I know it's hard. I got it, guys. That it's difficult. I understand that. But that's the mitzvah of kibbutz. You can give your father a tissue. Dad, hey, you want a tissue? Here you go. Like he's a bub. Or, the way they give the gadola tissue, whenever they're ready. (coughs) Majesty. King and queen. That is the mitzvah of kibbuda ve'im. Treating them like they are the best, because they are. Crowning them. Mom, you're the best. When's the last time we took advantage if we have a cell phone or texting to text our mother in the morning and say, good morning, mom. I just wanted to say you're the best. Have a beautiful day. So short, sweet, and simple. How many times are we in the middle of a phone call with our parents and someone clicks in? Mom, I gotta go, 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 hold on, I gotta go, I gotta go. Ay, 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 ay. Where do we talk to our parents? Mom, can you do me a favor? Can you please pick this up for me? <laughs> it's the exact opposite, boys. We're supposed to be offering ourselves to our parents. How can I help you, Mom? What can I do for you, Dad? You're the best. And the more we work on it, the more we'll get there.